Hi, I'm Tim Carter from AskTheBuilder.com. How would you like to be able to control one or more light fixtures from three or more switch locations like I'm doing right now in my own kitchen? Well, you know how that's done? With a four-way switch. And I'm going to show you right now how to install a four-way switch in your home. I need you to be safe during this project, so go turn off the electricity to the circuit right now that you're working on, because 120 volts, yep, it can kill you. To install a four-way switch, you need to install it between two three-way switches, just like this. And you know what? Why don't you go watch my three-way switch video right now? I'll wait here until you get back. Oh, oh okay, you're back. I've been wondering where you were. I'm sure now you have a complete understanding of how to connect these two three-way switches. Remember in that video that this cable, this white cable, it's got this inside of it. It's got this red wire, a black wire, the copper ground wire, and the white neutral wire. Well, guess what? Those wires just feed right through the four-way switch. It's that simple. This is the mysterious four-way switch. You already understand what a three-way switch looks like. It's got three screws plus the special green grounding screw. Well, check this one out. This one's got four, two at the top, two at the bottom, plus the green grounding screw. The thing you must understand so that you can install a four-way switch the right way is it must be installed in between two three-way switches. So we're going to put ours right here. You can't put the four-way switch on the front side or on the back side of the circuit. It will not work. For this to make a little bit more sense, I'm going to number the boxes. This first three-way switch, let's call it box number one. The box where the four-way switch is going to be will be box number two, and this final box where the last three-way switch is, is box number three. I need to cut the white cable right in the middle so we can actually make two separate cables that will feed down into box number two. Oh, that's nice. That'll pass inspection. Look what we've got. We've got the cable coming from box number one here to box number two, and we've got the same type of cable going from box number two over to box number three. All we have to do to hook up the four-way switch is strip the insulation off these two wires, connect a few of them together, and we're going to be ready to go. Remember when we started this four-way switch video, we had a cable out like this. Red, black, copper, white. Check it out. Red, black, copper, white wire and we've got the other cable going from box two to box three that also has the red, black, copper, white wires. All we have to do to make the four-way switch work is wire nut the two white wires together, take the two copper wires, wire them together with a little tailpiece for that ground screw, and then we're just left with the black and red wires. Do you think those people are back yet from watching that three-way switch video? Ah, let's keep moving forward. I can't wait for them. Look what we have. Five wires left. One, two, three, four, five, and we've got five screws on the four-way switch. We just have to connect them to the right location, and everything's going to work perfectly. We're just about finished, but here's where people make a mistake. If you take the two wires that are coming from box number one and install one of them on a brass screw and the other one on a black screw, it's not going to work. You need to install one wire on each of the brass screws. It doesn't matter which color goes on which brass screw. Then you take the two wires that are going to box number three and install those on the black screws. Once again, it doesn't make any difference. Don't worry about which color goes where. Finally, install the bare copper wire on the green grounding screw and you're done. Oh, let's see if it works. What do you think? Which one do you want to turn on? Let's try this one. It works. Off, on, off, on, off. Oh, they work. It works. Four-way switches rule the world. Remember, it's got to go in between the two three-way switches. You can do it. I'm Tim Carter for AskTheBuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com. 